Oh, hi, welcome back to the Shiko Mass Practice Lab, learning through practicing. And uh, in this practice set, we are practicing the substitution rules for the integration. And uh, this is our practice set number three. For the previous two videos, uh, you know, like we went through from very, very basic and gradually getting a little harder. And uh, for this practice set, uh, basically, we are going to be focus on the definite integration. That means we have the, you know, we have the up bound and the lower bound for our integration. So we're going to take a look at these five problems to see how do we approach this. All right, so let's uh, go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and start to do, take a look at some of the problems here. Okay, so the first problem here, so we are going to take a look at the integration from negative pi over two to pi over two. This is kind of like the very kind of a complicated uh, integration. So first things we say, okay, how do I do the substitution? Well, can I do like a u, you know, can I set u is equal to one plus uh, x six? And uh, for that, and then my du will be the x to the fifth. And uh, it's kind of like, uh, then I have this x square and the sine x, it's not going to work, all right? So it seems that uh, our typical integration, the substitution rules might not work. Then, you know, how can we do this? Then in here, we start to spot the things. And then you see here, okay? So if I only look at this part, the x squared plus over one plus x six, what type of function is this one? This is even, if I only look for this part, this is an even function. And then I still have one function left. This is a sine x, right? So the sine x, what type of the function is this one? This is an odd function. So I know when I have a, okay, so if you combine the name, so if you combine them together, so what is this function will be? So the whole functions, right? So the, this function, so if I said f of x equal to the x squared sine x one plus x six, what type of function here? This will be an odd function, correct? So because it's, this is an odd function, then we also know if it's an odd function, then if your integration region is symmetric to the zero, then what is the answer for here? We don't even need to really carry out the calculation. So we know this is an odd function and the symmetric. And so this is like the base on the net area series, right? So I have a positive area, I have a negative area. So that's why I add up to be zero. So this one is a little bit tricky there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the number one. Number two is here. This is one plus two X. Hmm. So probably like, just like we did before when this is square root. So probably I need to treat this square root as my function. If you treat this square root as your function, then I probably need to put this number one plus two x to be my u. Then the remaining, you know, the remaining will just be this two, right? So remember, that's what we did for the previous two videos. So let's see, is this work? Okay. So let's say, okay, we say we want to change this is u is equal to one plus two x. Okay, and then I know the du is equal to the 2dx. Okay, well, all right. So in here, okay, I have what? I have a dx here, I have a dx here. Okay, and so here the constants doesn't bother me. So I divide up here is a dx so here. Okay, so now, okay, so now here, let's put this one down here. Okay, so let's re rewrite it. So now in here, I have uh, this one is u to the one half, right? I have this dx is uh, du to the two. Ha, but I have some extra here, correct? I have these things here. I have this one here. This is x here. 
Remember, everything I need to replace with u. So in here, the x here, I said u is equal to one plus two x. So what is my x here? x will be the u minus one over what? Minus two, right? So I can replace this one. I can replace this one back to here. So I have, I change everything to U. So the, this will be the U to the what? U minus, U minus one over two. Okay, so now let's do, you know, I can move the constants. This one will be four. Okay, so now this is a U, right? So the, in here, this is a U to the one half to the u minus one, I can separate this to a u to the one half like this. Am I right? Okay, so now in here, this one will give you u to the one half minus u to the negative one half. Then I can integrate it to du. Now in here, I can use the power rules here. Okay, so remember, we also need to look for what the boundaries here, right? So the u is equal to one plus two x. So the, when the x is equal to four, what happens here? Two times four is a, so it's a nine. And when x is equal to zero, what is here is one. So I transfer this boundary to what here to one over nine and the one over nine here. Okay, now I can start to do the integration. So this is one fourth. Okay, so the this is will be three half and the u to the three half, right? And then this is negative one. So negative one, so this will be what one half and this is equal to the one half, right? And then don't forget, I need to put my upper bound and the lower bound. So we can simplify this fractions here. So this will be two third, right? And then nine, so the nine to the three half, right? So what is here? So this is 27, okay? So we need to be, Careful, see here, 27. So, you know, in here, like we mentioned before, the things that they might be able to kind of hurt you is if you're not careful. So this is a three half, okay? Then times, you put the upper bound there. So upper bound is 27. Then minus, this is your flip. Oh, here, this one here, I flipped around here. Okay, so here, this is the, should be. Okay, so this will be what? If you flip here, so this will be two third, right? Then this one you flip here is a two, and then when you put a nine is a what? It's a three, all right? So this things then you need to minus, you put the lower bound in. So this will be what? This will be two third mu equal to one, so it's one times one, minus two, you put here, it's what, it's one, see here, right? So you just need to be very careful about your algebra. So this is one fourth, and uh, this is uh, what? This will be uh, two times nine is 18, so 18 minus six is 12, right? 18 minus uh, six is 12, and then minus two, two third minus two, two third minus two will be negative what? One and one third, right? So it's negative four third. Then you have this uh, negative sign, so it's a plus four third. Okay, then you can continue and carry through this calculation and to see, you know, what is the final answer here. Okay, so I don't want to spend the time just doing the algebra part. Just be very careful for that. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next ones here. This one's here is the very similar, right? So this is the square root, so probably, you know, you will have this square root is your function. Right? If the square root is your function, so what is your u here? Here is your u, okay? Then you will have this uh, dx left, oops, here. Okay, so you will have this, uh, 
dx, right? So dx here, then the, here's the leftover x and the dx. So now let's try, take a look and see if this will work or not. So u is equal to x minus one, okay? So then the du equal to dx. Oh, wow, well, that's pretty good. So, well, but the du only equal to dx. So that means this x, I have, I don't have the value there. So let's try to color that in a different color. That means I need to find something for here. Okay, so now let's try to, try to rewrite this one here. So this is the square roots. So it's u to the one half. dx is equal to du. Okay, so far so good. I have this x. So how do I do this x? I need to find the relation. So x equal to what? x equal to u. So that means from here, I know x equal to what? x equal to u plus one, see here. All right, so the, now I rewrite this one. I will just write this is u plus one du, okay? And then let's simplify this a little bit. So this is u to the what? three half plus u to the one half and uh, du, see here. You see here, now I can use the power rule, but now don't forget, uh, I need to find the boundaries, right? So when x equal to two, what is this one? It's one. When x equal to one, what is here? Zero, one. So I need to change my boundary to zero, one, okay? And that's just like we did before. So then this integration will just be three half plus two. Three half plus two will be five half. So this is X, oh, I'm sorry, is what? Is U, okay? So this is U to the what? Five half, right? U to the five half and the plus, this is u to the one half, so this is u to the three half, and this is u to the three half, right? Now, what is my value? Zero and the ones here, right? Okay, now let's try to flip it, be very careful. So this one, you flip it, it will be what? Two of the five, and the u to the five half, and the plus, you flip this one, what is here is two to the three and the u to the three half. Then you plug a zero and the one. So you plug a one, so it will just be two fifths plus two third minus zeros, right? So you minus zero because when you plug the zero here it will be zero. So this will be 15. So six plus uh, what here is 10. So it's a 16 over 15 so here. Right? Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. All right, so this one's here. Huh, so we seems dealing with this problem before. So I probably, my oops, here is a wrong color. So probably my function will be sine x. If it's my function is a sine x, what is my u? My u could be here. All right, now what is my leftover? My leftover is here, right? Okay, so now let's take a look to see I'll be able to do it. Okay, so we say the u is the yellow one. So it's u is a sine x. So what is the du? Du is a sine, is a cosine x dx. Oh boy, that's good, right? So cosine x dx matched here. All right, so this one turns out pretty easy. So here, okay, let's rewrite this. Okay, so this is the sine, is my function state. So it's a sine u, and then the pink one, the light purple one is a du. Huh, it's easy, right? Okay, now let's take a look at my u. u is equal to the sine x. So when the x is equal to pi over two, what is the pi over two? It's one, right? When x equal to zero, what is sine x is zero. Ha, huh, I have zero over one here. Wow, that's pretty cool. I have a zero over one to my u. So what is my integration for here? 
So what is going to take the derivative design is so we say it's a negative cosine u, right? So it's a negative cosine u and then my limit is what? It's one and zero. So this one's here, be careful. So this will be negative, right? So it's a cosine one, right? Minus the cosine zero. And uh, I know what is uh, cosine zero? Cosine zero is one, right? So now my final answer is here because be careful about this negative sign. So it's a one, one. So it's negative, negative will be one. So it's one minus cosine one, all right? So for this problem, so this one's here, if, you know, it's a kind of the pretty straightforward, okay? So now let's, uh, Take a look at the next one here, okay? So for this one here, hmm, this is the sine, arc sine x and the square root of one minus x squared. Hmm, so in here, so we think, uh, hmm, maybe, okay, so because the sine, arc sine, I know the derivative of that. So I would say here, uh, I would say probably the arc sine, right? Arc sine will be my, you know, the if, uh, so the function, the, the functions here. So let's see here because the, okay, this one we need to be very careful. I can, okay, so in here is we know the sine, arc sine, the derivative of the arc sine is one minus x squared, right? So, I'm probably, I want to put the arc sine here, all right? So arc sine, that would be my u because I know my du will give me, you know, the, you know, one over square roots. So these things here and these things here will be what? These things and these things here will be my, you know, the du's, right? So where is my function? Huh? My function, so in here, my functions will just be here. It's like there's a constant one times, right? So here, this is one, and uh, what is the one? So we know that we did this before. We know the one is mu to the what? Mu to the zeros, right? So the that's why, so this is the mu to the zero. So it's just a constant functions, right? So that's why I can, you know, do this. Okay, so let's see here, we can set it up. So we say u is equal to the arc sine x, right? Then I know the du will be what? Du is one over one minus x squared dx. Okay, so now let's take a look here. Now here, well, this is pretty good, right? So the one over, oops, here. Okay, so, okay, so, yeah. So I know this one's here is match my, what, um, match this one's here. So this is pretty good. Okay, so now I, let me rewrite this to see I can rewrite that or not. So here, this is the one. And what is the arc sine? This is u, right? And what is this one's here? It's a du. So in fact, the function here is just a constant function. I don't need to do anything about it, right? Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now it's a transfer to a pretty simple uh, function here. Now let's take a look at the u is equal to the arc sine x. All right, so when the x equal to one half and uh, x zero. So when the arc sine equal to zero, what is u? u is equal to zero, correct? Okay. When the arc sine equal to one half, what is the u? That means the sine, arc sine one half. What is that? It's a pi over what? It's a pi over six here, okay? So now I can change this integration to zero and the pi over six, 
Okay, now I can do the integrations here. So this is a two to the u what square. And what is my upper bound and the lower bound is pi over six to the zero. So my final answer, this is one half and the pi over six to the square minus zero. So it will be 72, six, six squared, 36, right? 72 pi what? Pi squares so here. All right, so that's it for this practice. So as you can see, this one is also is a little bit tricky, right? I think we did a similar one in our previous video. So for this one here, the reason why I sign, I put the u is equal to the x sine x because I immediately spot, I know the derivative of the x sine is one over one square root of one minus x squared. Because I spot that, so I know the sine x sine x be my u is a good candidate for the u substitution. So what is the function here? Real function is just a constant function, is one, right? So that's why, you know, after you do the substitution, then the integration will become pretty easy. All right, that's it. That is for the all the three practices set for the substitution rules for the integration. As you can see, you know, the, it's kind of like a really like a detective games, right? So you can see which one will be a good uh, candidate. So remember, right? So the way you do it, after you decide, then you need to make sure everything inside your integration can be replaced, all right? Can be replaced by the U. Of course, if this is a definite integration, what you need to do, make sure you need to transfer your lower and upper bound as well. Okay, that's it. And this finish our, this practice set, the substitution rule. As you can see, it's a pretty simple and straightforward. All right, that's it. And nice talk to you. Have a good day here. Okay, bye.